One exercise that I've had my students do recently, we spend a, um, I teach a forms class, and I'll have them um, spend one week where they're working in refrain. So we, we look at pantoons, we look at villanelles, uh, we look at trilets. And the first time I did this, I didn't, I should have expected it, but they all wrote trilets because they're only eight lines long. <laughs> but the, um, you know, I, my, when, when they turned in all these trilets, not everybody did, but a lot of them wrote trilets, my expectation was that they were going to be particularly terrible uh, because my, um, I worried that they had chosen this form because it was so short. And it's kind of a difficult thing to do, but they, they completely blew me away. They wrote just absolutely excellent poems, and it struck me that I had never really tried one before myself, and if my students could do it, surely this must be like a really easy form to write in. Um, so I set myself a challenge of you know writing guts out. Um, I get up in the morning before my kids wake up. I've got a couple of hours. I can write. I can knock out a triolet each morning. And I did it for like maybe a month and a half, two months. I write a triolet, and I came up with like two, maybe three that work or something like that. It turns out they were really hard. My students were just good. Um, but one that I actually wrote more recently than that is a travel poem too. Um, it's, it's one that I was thinking about. Um, just on this most recent trip, though, it's, um, it's not set in that season. Um, so you guys have a lot of red buds here, right? A lot growing beside the highway. This is what I have in mind. It's a driving poem. And I want to try to do a triolet that um, where both of the rhyme sounds, the A rhyme and the B rhyme, are playing off the same sound. Um, so this is red bud. The sun was low. Each red bud glowed. We drove and we drove. slower. On a red dirt road, we passed the lake, and one last grove of red 